In this video, we are creating a GUI, that does the following. Pops up when you touch a block, switches to a different GUI when you click a button, goes away after the third GUI. I'd like to give a shout out to Hamlo, who made a comment and requested this tutorial just two days ago. And we are starting right now. Okay, first grab a part and change the color and material. I use black and granite. Make it anchored and change the size to 8, 16, 2. Then rename the part to button part. Okay now. Click the plus next to start GUI. And add screen GUI. Here like this. Inside of that, add a surface GUI. And then an image button. Select the surface GUI and click the Adorni section. And then click on your part to join it. Here you might need to change the face, based on which side you want the image position. Now select the image button you just added. We need to change the image, size and position. Set the size to 400 for both X and Y. You may have to rotate the image like this, then set the Y position to 175. I have removed the background, by changing the background transparency to 1. Okay, that's looking really good. Now we are going to add our three different screens for the GUI. To add these screens, click the plus sign next to screen GUI, and this time choose image label. Call this image 1, and move it into position with your mouse or use the XY positioning. For the size I changed Y to 300, and X to 500. Add a text label to image 1 and change the text to step 1. Then change the text size to 30, and change the X and Y position as shown. Okay, we now need a button, so inside image 1, add text button. First, select the button and then apply these settings. Change X to 0.579, change Y to 0.798. Change the text of this button to next. Change the font size to 30. Then choose a white font and change the background color to green or something else. This is great, that's the first screen complete. You can make further changes as you wish. For the other two screens, we can just duplicate them like this. Make two duplicates. Call them image 2 and image 3.
For image 2, just change the text to step 2, and leave the button text as next. For image 3, change the text to step 3 and change the button text to finish. Ok, now that these are completed, they don't need to be shown on the screen until we need them, so untick visible for image 1, image 2 and image 3. The script is the final step. We just need to write that, so it will show the GUI when clicked. First, add a local script to screen GUI. Then, start writing all this code as shown. And pay attention to capital letters and syntax. That's the script complete. Let's run it and see if it works. When you click on the surface GUI, it will toggle the GUI on and off with each click. These next buttons will move to the next GUI screen in the order of image one, image two and image three. The final GUI image 3 will close the GUI when you click on finish. The hover effect shown here is done by swapping the images, refer to line 51 and 53 in the local script. You can add some text to the button part like this. That's the end of this tutorial. A lot of effort goes into these videos. So if you like this, please let me know in the comments. Also, like the video so YouTube will show it more. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one. Keep watching and I'll continue here with this label. At the end of this video, they'll show the full code. And all the element settings.